Today we are in Amish country. It's Strasburg, PA. Sitting in front of the Strasburg Country Store and Creamery. Now this place is known for its homemade ice cream, but they also sell food in there. So we're gonna go in there and order something off their lunch menu. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. This is all part of the Strasburg Village Inn complex. It's right here on the square. Come out here and get some ice cream. Sit there, watch the cars go by. Or if you stay here, you just sit on this front porch. There are the business hours. Let's go in. <laughs> building quick look at the menu soda two dollars appetizers breaded cauliflower some pickle chips fries from the deli they have different sandwiches you can pick up a tuna salad peanut butter and jelly for four dollars soup four dollars a cup a bowl five and from the grill there's the amish rachel bobby's going to get and i'm going to get something that's not on the menu the chicken tenders they just added that Here's a quick look at the ice cream menu, which is all homemade. There are your creamery flavors. They have featured flavors, some vegan. Get a sundae for eight, a special sundae for nine, banana splits for 10, root beer float for six, and your ice cream toppings are 75 cents each. I like where you're sitting at. It's pretty neat looking. It's like a little, I don't know, barn or a front porch. Neat little theming in here back in this room. Well, the food just came and it looks amazing. I can feel the heat from the chicken. It just came out of the deep fryer. They just hand breaded that here. That's why I got it. I like chicken tenders, but I know it's fresh. Bobby got the Amish Rachel instead of the Reuben today. Tell us about it. So they grill it and sauerkraut, Thousand Islands, and instead of corned beef, it's turkey. Okay. Let's take one more look at that. Now, first, I told John I wasn't. I didn't know Let's how the it. turkey would be because I'm used to the corned beef. But I do like the turkey on there, the sauerkraut. The bread is really good. I like that. What do you think? Comparing the two, which one would you get? These now. These are the two most popular. This one and the regular Reuben at I, this place. This one. I might take the turkey. Wow, it's surprising because uh -huh. you like Rubens. I do. I might have to come back here and try, try, them, try the other Reuben one. See. All right. But today this one's good. And you got some local chips. Local chips. Not made it's, here, just yeah, out of the bag. Made, but... They told us the brand. I'd never heard of it before. Can't remember what it was now. What do you think? They're fresh. Okay, guys. Look at the size of the chicken tenders. Nice. It's just, they're hot. I gotta watch because they are. They're really hot. Look at that. Now that's a chicken tender. Mm -hmm. That's something they told me that it's kind of new to the menu. They started doing that. That's what chicken tenders should look like. Yeah, and those are two nice yeah. size, both of them. Then we got the fries and we got a biscuit. And they brought us up two different sauces for $9. 
I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of this because this was so hot, I couldn't try it a second ago. Look at that, guys. So juicy looking, no sauce. That is one of the best chicken tenders I've ever had. Now, it just breaded it, so it wasn't sitting back here frozen. That is so fresh and so juicy. I don't know if you guys can see it on there, but that is just juices looking coming mm -hmm. out of there. The breading is nice. I mean, you got dipping sauce. I like it plain. I don't want to dip it, but you can eat it plain. It's that, it's that good. Let's try it with some barbecue sauce. Yeah, with it being hand dipped, I don't know if I would even, you don't need any of the sauces mm -hmm. at all. Has a nice uh, crunch to it. I might like it better just to eat it natural, just with the chicken flavors and the bready. It's that yeah. good. So fries. Now these are just frozen fries. They're decent size. Nice flavor to them. They're crispy. It's good when I have to put some butter on it. So that's a nice little platter for $9. And also you can get some lemonade. lemonade to go with it. Definitely sour. Now chips and a pickle came with mine. Pickle was hidden. You didn't see it under there. No. Pretty good size pickle. Now, you're going to have to try this chicken tender. How's it look? Just by appearance. It was tasty. I mean, I can smell it when they brought it in. It's because, it, like you said, it's hand dipped. So, it don't be really good. It is. Heard the crunch. <laughs> well, let me ask you, what do you think? Yeah, I would say this is the best chicken tender we've had. Just because it is, they hand dipped it, and uh, this is good breading. It is, and I'm glad I got that. I almost got the hamburger, but and just hearing nice that, I like chicken tenders. We hardly ever get chicken tenders on a food review. And knowing that they just made that fresh, that's a perfect size. That's plenty. Well, I'm gonna try this. I don't like sauerkraut, but this is one of their specialties. I'm gonna have to try it. Loaded up the meat on there. But for someone who doesn't like sauerkraut, I could definitely eat that. It's really tasty. And there's a lot of turkey on there. There is. Taste a thousand islands. Bread tastes great too. I could get one of those, but I'm still not going to just eat sauerkraut and pork sometime. I may be on here. Maybe I, was, I, could choke it. I was just saying, thinking that we could make the sauerkraut and pork since. Yeah, I don't think I, don't think I like sauerkraut, but on here, the turkey overpowers it with a thousand islands. I can't really taste it, but it's good. Here's our receipt at the Strasburg Country Store. Chicken basket, $9. The Rachel, nine. Pop, two. Lemonade, 250 for a grand total of $23.85. Take a look back here at the store. Some candy. Local souvenirs. Like these old floors. All kind of candy back through here. We got some Christmas items back there. You can also take home some of the ice cream for $9.95 a quart. It's all homemade. All right, guys, I'm here with Tammy, the manager of the country store, and I'm going to ask her a few questions about this place. How old is this building? The building it was made 1788. Because, I mean, you walk through those original floors, it looks like. The floors are original, most of the bricks are original, even the piping was. <laughs> we had to replace that. Yeah, that's neat. And uh, when did the Creamery and all that come I about. I the creamery and the B&B in 1985. And how many? They said there's a bed and breakfast here. How many yes, rooms? Yes, we have ten rooms. You know, they're all above us here at the creamery. And tell us about the ice cream. You guys make it all? Yeah, all the ice cream is made here on the premise. We have ice cream room in the back, uh, next to the bakery. And on the uh, lunch, what's uh, some way we come in here? What do you suggest they get? Well, Specialties. If they like, 
most popular are the Rubens and the Rachels. Uh, the Rachels, just like a Reuben, but with turkey. People like the fried chicken with our fried chicken program, chicken tender meals. You get a two, three, five piece of fries and a biscuit. All right, well, and also I've got some uh, little retro candies and stuff up through the store yes, we there. Try, we try to bring the old novelties in as much as we can. Uh, all the way back to the store, we have some you know, gift shop, shelves of candy, and some fudge up front that we bring in. That's made by a local e and candy store. You were telling me a few minutes ago that you have like uh, 16 flavors that you keep and have some seasonal ones also? Yes, uh, and the two cases on the end are, are something that we keep all year round. There are 16 different flavors. Anywhere from strawberry, chocolate, black raspberry, coconut, Snickers, to peanut butter is good. Um, in this middle case here, you can't really see unless you look on top of it. Oh, there These we go. are seasonal flavors. These can change, depends on how fast they sell. They usually change, could change over in two or three days or if they can last a week. We did try something new this past year. These are our vegans. Uh, they're dairy free. They're made with crushed almonds and water. So anybody that can't have ice cream or dairy, we uh, started a new line of vegan ice cream. Okay, well, appreciate you spending some time with us today. Thank, well, thank you so much. You. Well, did you guys think we would just get food at a place that makes homemade ice cream? Yeah, what did the, we get there? There's the pineapple. Orange pineapple. Orange and pineapple ice cream. And then we got sherbet mango. Mango sherbet. And it's very hot out here, so it's going to melt fast. Both are real creamy. I'm not sure which one I'd like better. I guess that's why we mix them. Yeah. Too many choices. Mm -hmm. We didn't get chocolate. We want to try something different. Those are different flavors. Orange, pineapple, mango, sherbet. You like sherbet. I do. Try the sherbet first. That's definitely creamy. You can taste the mango in it. But this is one I know I'm like, I'm gonna like better, right? Because I like I love pineapple. blend of the pineapple and the orange together. That's fruity. I really enjoyed that. So in the back, when you park on the side of this building, they have a seating area. But you can come out here when it's pretty. That's it. Little wagon, get your picture taken in. So plenty of seating when you're here at the cafe and creamery. Well, we just left the Strasburg Country Store Creamery and Cafe. What did you think about it, Bobby? I think I found a new way to eat the Reuben with the turkey instead of the corned beef. Um, I like the sauerkraut. You tried it. You mm -hmm. said it wasn't too yeah, bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad, especially the sauerkraut. With the on Thousand it. Island on it. And the rye bread. That was very good quality bread. All the chicken tenders. It came out hot and juicy. I said it in there. I'm going to say it again. Might have been one of the best chicken tenders I've ever had. That it was that good. I had the fries, a little biscuit, nine dollars. Thought it was worth that. I enjoyed sitting in there because I like history stuff. You guys will watch us know we like going to Gettysburg and things like that. So being in a building that was what over 200 and some years old, how cool is that with that creaky the floor? When you walked across them, yeah. The staff is really friendly. It's just it was a good experience in there. How about the homemade ice cream? Yeah, you have to get the ice cream. I'm not sure which one I like better the mango or the pineapple mix them together yeah. like we did a lot of different flavors in there they have the seasonal ones so the reason we did this video this is a place there's so many big buffets up here this is a place that probably people think of because it sells ice cream but they also have that nice little lunch menu thought you guys might want to see that in case you just wanted something smaller to eat before you head out to one of those big buffets. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building.